everyone, how are you guys? Welcome back to uh, Daily Deal. This is finally, finally complete. This is the Garden Junk Journal kit. I had 20, but there's only four left. Before I even could finish it, um, I did a pre-order so everyone can grab one before I finish. Um, a lot of times they are big hits, especially the Garden uh, Junk Journal kits. So again, I have four left. I have You get to choose your book, which I will show them to you here in a minute. Um, but I'll give you a quick glance. They're pretty rather large size books. One's roses. I'll go more detail with them here in a minute. One is flowers of the world. Huge books. Um, that's why each kit is in a medium flat rate box. Look how big this book is. This one here is the garden guide. Wait to see the pictures in these guys. And then the last one is the practical gardeners encyclopedia. Um, so yeah, each kit is going to be a medium flat rate box, which is uh, right now the rates went up to thirteen fifty five. They were twelve fifty five at the beginning, of the, uh, just before the beginning of the year, but. Uh, the rates are always changing. So yes, being the fact that these kits are not only huge impact, um, the books are heavy, that flat rate is the price. So being that, I had lowered the price to $22 for the um, junk journal kit this time for you guys, um, which is great because it helps you guys with shipping. But again, an amazing deal. Four left is all I have. And uh, I just want to give you guys a quick peek because a lot of people, they uh, either got theirs or it's on the way. I think I shipped them out yesterday, so and it's priority two days. So usually um, it does ship on the weekends as well. So if you purchase this today, uh, one of the last four, it will be in a mailbox today, and it will uh, it would definitely uh, be there um, by Monday or Tuesday of the following week. All right. So every kit has embroidery pack and stuff like that. Um, I'll get to the paper. Each pack is going to have a large, um, pretty much it's called Sherlock. Um, it's uh, polyester and floss that you can put in your sewing machine at the top. You can use it to thread your uh, fill your bobbins up. Each one is like a cottage chic floral like theme. So the solid colors will be either pastel, pastel colors. So this one's like a peachy pink. Again, all are pastel. They're all random. There's they're all very different. So it's kind of quite nice surprise. And you get so much thread off these three thousand yards, uh, which is awesome. Again, I'll give you a quick glance uh, peek. Each one's going to have an embroidery pack um, to be trimmed. This one still happens to have rick rack. Each one of them are going to have the the um, the key pen. You guys know I've been really loving showing you guys the key pen, uh, the very fine point um, fine um, writing pen. Each pack is going to get embroidery floss again. Like I said before, it's going to be random. This one here is a cream. They're all like pastel colors. So um, each pack is going to get a yard of cotton trim here, which is not going to fray on the edges. So however you use it, it's stiff. It's perfect for your junk journals. Um, oh, these are really, really cool. I meant to tell you guys. Each pack is like four or five of these. If you guys know what these are, those fire file clips where you um, peel this off and stick it to your paper and these prongs come up and you can hole punch into your papers and put them down and then press that back to keep your papers down. I've never seen anyone use these in their journals and I thought, well, maybe we can start something here. Try that out. Um, it's peel and stick. It looks convenient. I'm curious on what you guys can make out of it. Maybe little booklets holders, what have you. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Each pack will get a hanky. It'd be blue, purple, pink, yellow. There's like all so many colors. This one so happens to have blue. Of course, when I do my packs, I kind of make them similar to the style of what's going on in the pack. This one has rickrack. The embroidery pack is going to be, it's like trims embroidery. This is going to have, this came from the bottom of a pillowcase, but I'm sure it'd be so cute on the edge of a journal. I did the sizes, I think, nine, eight or nine inches in case you're going to do the, a border of a page or a trim or a pocket kind of thing. Here's this one too. This one here is the blue. Of course, we got the butterfly applique. It's a little bit longer. I kind of folded it over. Then you get this one here. Again, these are pillowcases or different doilies that you'll get into a pack. Each pack has beautiful pieces. This is a complete piece there. Again, it is so packed and 
it's crazy. Only $22 for a junk journal kit. I did a wax seal. There's trees, flowers, there's all kinds. All you have to do is peel and stick or glue that onto your envelope to seal it. In this case, I have this here. Each pack has some beautiful garden like cards. Some are embossed, some are not, but they're absolutely elegant and beautiful. Look at this here, the inside of this. But again, you can use that wax seal. Seal it right there if you want to in your envelope. Um, either way, that beautiful garden booklet, uh, which was really, really cool. I had the pages. They remind me of like the French seed, uh, fruit seed uh, labels. It's a beautiful garden book. And then you get all kinds of papers, guys. You know me. I'll paper it up for you. Tons of stationery. Beautiful floral themed. You'll get some napkins. Uh, paper napkins are all different and random like this. Beautiful colors. Playing cards. There'll be like four or five in there. You'll get five of these little envelopes here. They're like coin envelopes. I've seen where you guys layered and did some kind of beautiful work on the front of them, which are cool. You get one of these. It's a larger one. You're going to get one, two, three of these. These are auction lot number tags. I got these at the, um, the retreat, the journaling retreat that I went to. You can take off the metal and then you can put your own like lace or whatever, tag tops, what have you. But um, they had them on the fruit table and I thought, gosh, I can put these in all on every one of your guys' kits so you guys get a piece of that retreat with you. You'll get five or more library cards. And then I had fun with the blue chip, um, like, like, uh, coupons. I had fun. Each pack is going to have a huge pack of a variety of like the booklet pieces, um, pages where you can either finish yourself, put in the journal and that cool or what you'll have a whole variety of different kinds in your pack papers. I did rip a section of Alice in the Wonderland. It's more like a comic type than anything. I got, got that as a gift at that retreat as well. And I thought I'd get three or four pages of each into every pack. You might be able to use it. I thought, again, this too came from the retreat. I had so much fun finishing off these um, garden kits with pieces from that. I forgot what they said these are, but it, they, they could rip off into these sections here. What kind of tickets those are. Comment down below. I totally forgot. I'm curious. Again, you guys seen these before. These are like the different card making type of brochure covers that um, a lot of times church would print out their, their like Sunday sermon things and what have you. But it's beautiful floral. I thought I'd throw those in there. Oh, I had a bunch still left of this as well. It's like a pressed pink paper. Of course, garden pages. I left them full. Each pack is going to get the booklet like this. Remember, you guys, I said I love those mini ideal kind of books. That is what these are like, but they're like little devotional booklets. But the pages are so adorable. I am sure you guys can use it for something. Each pack will get one of those variety. They're all different. Um, I did have fun taking apart art books that are like they're bird and floral theme for like China painting and stuff like that. Here it is here. This is the cover of one of them. It's called Stepping Stones by Judy Nutter. Um, it's, it's pretty much plate painting kind of thing, but it, I thought it'd be really cool to journal somehow. Um, this one here is birds. So each one will have like beautiful birds. There might be a black and white ones in there as well. Hey, I like when people, they do like the color, adult coloring, a pack of the stickers. And then this is really cool. I haven't even got into this pack yet. I got this. This was by Alan and Roth. It's paintable wall covering. It's like embossed. It's like a wallpaper for the wall. I've not seen anyone do this yet, but you can paint this. You can um, cut these out, use them as the front of your covers, what have you, but it's absolutely beautiful. All you have to do to glue it on is wet this and stick it, um, which is so cool. It's pre-pasted already, so check that out. That's in there. Each pack has exactly this, where you have one, two, three, four, five, six actually cut out 
and some remnant as well. Each piece measures, let's see here, four inch by five inch. So there's plenty there. Wallpaper galore. There's large wallpapers in here. Here's this one here. They're all folded in half. This one is like a peachy pinky rose. Then you have this one here, which I'm holding together. That large pieces of wallpapers in here. You get a music pack. There's going to be all kinds of music pages, which I thought went really well with garden theme. And then these really cool music cards, like playing cards. Now, Ami, if Ami is watching this, Ami, I used some of these cards and I, I sent you the rest of the pack. It was a huge pack. It was like four inches thick. So, Ami, if you're watching, just so you know, I sent you the rest of the pack, which was a whole bunch. So, her dad, I guess, is a music instructor or does something in music. Okay. Paper, 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 guys. You know me. More paper. Those who watched when I did the Amazon um, find that paper. I was telling you guys you can find this really cool paper on Amazon. Well, I made sure that each pack that's double-sided, you know, each side looks coffee dyed. It's computer paper that is coffee dyed. So I made sure that every kit got a piece of every, every design that there was that's in this as well. Some vintage Sherwood Music School uh, printable music paper. Of course, paper, 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 guys. I make sure I give you guys a variety of papers in every one of my packs. This here is typewriter paper. And then you're going to fold it in half, though. Scrapbooking pages that I put in here um, that are absolutely beautiful that you can use for your projects. And this was really, really cool. Each pack is going to get this. This is actually construction paper. But this doesn't look like it's painted. It's like different colors in it. Every pack will get that. And of course, more cardstock type of papers. Of course, you could take off the top. More um, scrapbooking paper. And then this here is linen paper, where 25% of it is fabric in here, or linen, which is really, really cool. It looks like parchment paper. And then this is really, really cool. Each pack is going to get this vintage um, jewelry bag. I got these at the retreat as well on the free pile. I seen that and I thought, oh my gosh, this would be perfect in a book. You know, um, I could totally see you guys in the color is so vintage and aged. Let me see what, the, what this is. So it says here nine and a half and folded in half. We're talking about six inches there, but to here it's just about seven inches, which I thought looked really good in the garden theme. This here, you're going to have 18 inches by, I don't know the width of this, but that uh, wrapping paper, every pack's going to get a piece of that like that. Of course, more wallpaper on the end here is this yellow, beautiful yellow. So there you guys have it. I hope I went fast enough. I'm going to show you the books really quick and uh, hopefully put this pile back in working order. I'm just going to pile it here up, guys, because it's a whole lot of goodness. And let's go check out these books. Okay. Gosh, guys, there are so many. I'm just going to start like this. So there's four books to choose from. So when you go to the listing, all you have to do is click on the listing link that I have down below. And in the listing will be um, your choice of book. And it'll have an actual picture of the book. You just click on that book that you're actually looking for and add it to your cart kind of thing. So what you see here is what you're getting. So one of the choices is called Roses. And this book is huge. I mean, literally, it's like almost one and a half, two inches thick. But it is filled with nothing but roses absolutely gorgeous throughout hope i'm not going too too fast roses roses and roses for my rose lovers this thing here is probably about two pounds in itself hence that's why the shipping is going to be a flat rate because it costs you guys a crazy amount to ship that this one here is one of my favorites called flowers of the world here's the cover it's just gorgeous even just to display it and it has beautiful large pages of flowers 
around the world. Again, guys, the kit's only $22. Usually the kits are $25, which that's cheap in itself. But I was thinking of you guys on shipping. And uh, if you're international, just message me. I can Ooh, bleeding hearts. Love bleeding hearts. Um, I will do my best to see what I can do as uh, far as the weight. I can weigh them actual weight each the one you're looking for. Like this one here. Oh my gosh, it's probably like four inches thick. It's called the Complete Garden Guide. Look at the uh, lilies. I mean, these books alone are worth the price of the entire kit. So, and those who already got their kits already, I mean, or they, they picked out and they're on the road, you guys have beautiful books that you chose too. I made sure that I did. Every book had beautiful um, pages kind of thing. But everything you can think of in gardening in this one as well. Let's go to the next one really quick. So the last one is the Practical, practical Gardener's Encyclopedia. So it's pretty much the encyclopedia for gardeners that and I'm curious like someone paid $40 for this these books are expensive and you're getting great price including with the kit these would be cute to cut out even that so we got all kinds of beautiful gardening pages from vegetable to floral it looks like and this one all right, guys, there you have it. Grab the last daily deal of you can get. There's only, like I said, four left. I hope you guys absolutely love uh, the kit this time. I know I always change it up and make it different every time. Uh, man, those books are heavy. All right, guys, I hope you like it. You guys have a wonderful day. Bye.